tomorrow's meeting of Cavan and Donegal. Now, that game at Brefney Park, an important match for both counties, given the fact that they both failed to live up to expectations 12 months ago. But after Cavan's excellent run in the league and having home advantage, well, they've been installed as the favourites. So there's a tall order facing Donegal tomorrow. Reporting from there is Tommy Gorman. Thursday evening last, and that's town of Willie, four miles outside Donegal town. Tom Conaghan gave Donegal their final workout before their championship meeting with Cavan. Donegal go to Brefney Park as underdogs. Despite good form in the National League, for three successive years, they've been knocked out of the Ulster Championship in the opening round. Never far from controversy, Tom Conaghan has again sprung some surprises with the selection for the Cavan match. Brendan Dunleavy, a regular for 15 years, is dropped, with the relatively untried Martin Gavigan coming in at centre-half back. Their training session over, the players relax over a meal in the Donegal Hotel. But is this a case of the Last Supper? Anthony Malloy doesn't think so. I'm good here in Donegal, it was very good. Uh, we look very good in training, we're sharp and uh, we're eager. Yeah, and I think we can do well next Sunday. Would you fancy wet conditions, dry conditions or what? Well, some people uh, say that uh, we prefer the wet, the wet ball, but I, I think uh, it doesn't really matter, you know, it's just on the day like that. Up to 5,000 people will travel from Donegal to support these players on Sunday. Tom Conahan actually enjoys going to Brefney as underdogs. We don't mind it really, the fact that, um, that the pressure will be on Cavan from more gold and uh, rumour has it that um, you know, they're quite confident in themselves and it's only natural as opposed to getting promotion this year and, and uh, the games with Dublin and Derry and uh, it's obvious that they have to be favourites but we don't mind going to Brefney as the underdog tag. They're a fine, they seem to be developing into a fine side, Cavan. Well, they are. This last year, you know, like they seem to have improved leaps and bounds, and uh, they're a young team. They would be quite strong up the middle. It's probably mainly their strength. Their wings is also quite good. But on the day, they'll be hard to watch. And the fact that they're in their home venue. But um, saying that, you know, like I still think they're going to run with a chance. You anticipate a physical game? Well, championship football will be always a lot different than league football. And uh, I suppose how physical can they be, really? You know, like there's a referee there and there's 30 players. And uh, I'm sure he's not going to put anything get out of hand as such. Do you feel under pressure yourself, to, say, if Donegal were to go out at this early stage in the championship? Do you think there'll be a lot of criticism in the county? Well, you know, like... You don't mind criticism if you have constructive criticism. We, we had criticism this last three years just because we tried to change certain things within the county and was completely new. But we'd be very happy with the, at the moment the fact that we're in first division. We played our way there and we played this year in first division and stayed there. Well, for the two managers, tomorrow's match could be a make-or-break situation indeed for Tom Conahan, the Donegal manager. Last year's defeat by Armagh was a severe setback. Tomorrow could be the final test. Gabriel Kelly will surely suffer by comparison to his much more successful and well-known predecessor, Eugene McGee. That is, unless he can guide Cavan to Ulster Triumph this summer. And one of the players that Kelly will be relying on is his talented forward, Ronan Carolan. He's the son of Pat Carolan, the captain of the 52 All-Ireland winning team. Many famous GEA names have passed through the gates of St. Patrick's College in Drumcondra. Galway's Matty McDonough, Tipperary hurler Richard Stakelham and Monaghan's Kieran Murray. Now Ronan Carolan joins that list. This week, the Cavan forward was busy preparing for his final exams at the college.
Bella is sure I go up there. Oh, that would fall. Ball wheel? Uh, ball fake. Ball hike, ball hike kid. With his finals just around the corner and tomorrow's big match against Donegal at Breffney Park to think about, I asked Ronan where his thoughts were concentrated just at the moment, football or college. Well, in the last couple of weeks now, my preparation wouldn't be as uh, you could say as I, I'd like I'd like it to be. But uh, we have to really keep both in perspective, and I think like my exams, it would be the most important thing. But then again, uh, the football has helped me in the last couple of weeks getting away from the study. But uh, let's hope now I get both things right. It'll be important to get both of them right. It's been a long time since Cavan have had anything to show in Championship football, certainly at All Ireland level. Back indeed to the times of your own father, Paddy. That's right, it's a long time, 1952, since Cavan last won in All-Ireland. Although uh, up to really the late 60s they were doing well in, in Ulster Championship, they're still winning them at a fairly regular pace. But uh, since then it has been fairly bad. Now let's hope now this year we can, we can start off on Sunday on the right foot and start from there. The team has been going reasonably well recently, so we just literally have to hope now at the moment. Certainly looking at it as an outsider, Cavan football over the past two years seems to be gradually coming forward and developing. What's been the reason for that? Has Eugene McGee played a big influence in that? Uh, I definitely have to say he has, yeah. It's been really a process over the last four or five years. You look at the under-21 team last year, uh, there's been a lot of that team coming through, plus the older players like Jim Riley and Stephen King. Uh, it really has been a mixture of the effort that has been put in over the last four or five years between Eugene McGee and Gabriel Kelly the present manager, but definitely you would say it has been a develop development over the last couple of years. Some of Cavan's best performances in recent years were against Derry in the National Football League quarter-final and against Dublin in the semi-final. But although they lost to the Dubs, Cavan played with considerable flair. This goal by Michael Faulkner being one of the high points. However, despite that goal and some accurate free-taking by Carolyn, Cavan went down to a narrow defeat on the day. The league run was good for us. We, we, we gained a lot of experience through the, the, the game against Dublin, the game against Derry especially in Crow Park. But uh, the championship was always to the forefront and uh, let's hope now that we, we haven't, you could say, uh, spent ourselves by now and that we have a lot in us. We, we think we do and uh, we've upped training in the last couple of weeks now. Hopefully we'll respond on Sunday now with a good performance. Shall she can be your shin tell? Uh what does she uh what does it on the train at no no good enough, come on. Kesh towards the Sunyamisha. Can we and who carvon creep the hair and good turn? Neither quick at all, Shad, uh to be my friend. Is free were on come out to say, King will on Palom Slown. The cabin team get moving again. Pat Carolyn passes to Heatherton, but he is fouled. By this time, Cabin's accuracy is showing itself, and Nick Higgins from Freeze is piling up the lead. He passes to Edwin Carolan and seconds later scores from a free. It's a long, long time since 1952, since we last won an All-Ireland. That's true. Of course, obviously you were on that team yourself. I'm sure you never thought then that you'd be waiting as long again to see it. No, I did not. I did not. 37 years is a long, long time to wait. Well, if they're to win one in the near future, your son hopefully will be part of it, Ronan, and you well, must I'm, be very proud of him. I'm hopeful that he will be part of it. I think this is an up-and-coming team. Uh, they're, they're tremendously dedicated, and they have trained very hard over the last three or four months. And I mean, the, the fact that they made the ultimate stages of the National League uh, uh, it speaks for itself, but it's developing. By and large, they're a very young panel of players, and uh, I think... Uh, they have a great future. Are they good enough to win the Ulster Championship? I am very hopeful this year. I am very, very hopeful indeed. And the fact that we have Stephen King uh, as fit as he is today makes me even more hopeful. There's been a lot of euphoria in Cavan for the last few months, which is not really justified because, with all due respects to him, uh, the Championship is the only thing that matters, especially to a county like Cavan. And I've tried to pinpoint uh, some of the flaws that were showing up in their good run. They had a very good league run and played great football, very exciting football. But equally, there were flaws, and uh, I thought it was my duty to the readers to try and analyse the good points and the bad points. Eugene, 
came to Cavan here and did a lot of work and worked very hard. He may not have got the results that he deserved, but he put a lot of work into it and so it wasn't from lack of effort on his behalf that he didn't get results. Well, obviously, it's a very young team. Uh, it's the youngest that I've been part of and they're all very fit and very enthusiastic and a lot of them have tasted success with the under-21s and they're very keen to do well with the seniors. I'd say they're very, very eager. League is a totally different game to Championship and we all know that we've played in it. But uh, especially in, in Ulster football, it's very tight and rugged, as you say, and uh, there tends to be an awful lot of fouling. So I suppose Crow Park seemed to, see, to suit us and we played our best football in Crow Park. And it'll be interesting to see how we do perform in, in an Ulster venue again, in our home venue in Breffney Park. But I'm, I'm confident that we can produce the goods again. In Ulster, you can only take one game at a time, and that's the way we're going to approach it. Uh, we're playing at home on Sunday, and I think a lot is expected of us. And I hope that we can justify everybody's, um, everybody's hopes. Kevin fans think we have the championship won in some cases, you know. But the most genuine support realises that Ulster football is totally unpredictable. Like, uh, most people had Monaghan route off last Sunday, and they're there, they're, they're, I suppose they get the favourites now to come out of their section, so most of the football is totally unpredictable, you know. My main job there, the, uh, my main contribution there, it may or may not be seen in hindsight, but it was to get the background right. That's the first thing. I spent four years there, that's mainly what I did, to get Cavan to move out of the past, the 40s and the 50s and the 30s and come into the 80s. And I think it was reasonably successful there. I also had to enforce the standards of discipline that are needed for a county team. After that, then, you come back to ability. And there's certainly more ability there this year than I had because there are five members of last year's under-21 team on the team for next Sunday. Now, they are coming on stream, and uh, they've made quite a difference. Some of them played last year, but there were five of them on this year, and that's a big help. And that extra bit of talent which was needed has come on the scene. Now, they still haven't got enough talent to win an All-Ireland final, but they have more talent than they had last year or the year before that, so there's more to work on now than there was then. We're hoping, we're hoping that, that uh, we have a good run in the Championship. Obviously on Sunday it'll be a very tough test, we do know that. At, at Donegal it'll be a very, very hard test. But uh, we've prepared well for it and we're hoping that on the day that we, we can do the, do the job. I think they'll beat Donegal and I think they'll probably be playing Derry then and uh, I feel that uh, they would have the edge on Derry this time. But, you know, I really hope that they, they win on Sunday because it would be a complete disaster if Cavan were to lose on Sunday and be, undermine everything over the last five years. Well, switching from the Ulster Championship to Leinster and the action there tomorrow involves...